What's up guys, this is Eric, and this is the Cold Steel Schombach. Uh, as the title of the video suggests, I am going to talk about the Cold Steel Walking Stick Scabbard that I made, which will serve, it'll solve a lot of the problems that I inherently see in the Schombach. So let me get to the Schombach first and tell you what those inherent problems are. So for those of you who don't already know what a Schombach is, it's kind of a weird little fetishy item, I mean literally a fetishy item, in the sword and stick and martial arts community. This thing was originally a South African herding tool and they made it out of leather, leather, like uh, rhinoceros and hippo hide, really tough, durable leather, so it's kind of a stiff bull whip, specifically for herding large cattle. Um, later on, people would go on to use it as a self-defense tool, which it's flexible, see? It's not, it's not a solid stick, so you're probably not gonna kill someone with it, but you can certainly slap the piss out of them and make them wish that they hadn't messed with you. Um, so it's like an, a tool of extreme pain, basically. Uh, but it doesn't really fit into everyday life. These plastic versions, originally the South African police, like the riot squad, would use these flexible plastic versions instead of leather. So these things caught on, I'm assuming, because of that. Um, I've seen these my whole life at gun shows and knife shows and, you know, cold steel catalogs. But I could never figure out what, like, what niche it would fill in your life. Because it's too wobbly to use as a walking stick. It's too flexible. You can't really just walk around casually with a Schombach because people know it's not good for anything other than causing extreme pain. Um, I mean, so this thing is really good for snakes, right? Apparently that's one of the main things people use this for when you're hiking. But when you're hiking, you've probably already got a stick. And if you don't, this is not a hiking stick. So what, are you gonna wear this on your belt? Like a sword? Um, in that case, why not just carry a lightweight piece of wood like rattan that you can also use as a walking stick or to whip whap some snakes that crawl across the path. I just don't see a Schombach as really serving any uh, practical purpose in my daily life because I'm not herding oxen. And if I were walking around in places with wild dogs or snakes that needed to be warded off, I feel like there are other tools that I already possess that are better for those jobs. But still, I mean, the Schombach, there's something hypnotic about this whoosh, whoosh, whappy thing. Um, so I had to own one eventually. Uh, so of course I ordered one, regrettably, at like 2 a.m. on Amazon. Now that I have it, uh, I had to figure out a way to make it useful. And the first thing that came to mind is could I make some sort of a, a cane or a walking stick that would conceal this and allow me to use it as an actual walking stick and then somehow allow me to deploy the Schombach should a wild dog or snake need warding off. So here's what I came up with, and obviously if you're going to use this as a walking stick, you want it not to look super threatening or suspicious. So I just got some really stiff inch and a quarter PVC, and this is like structural PVC. I mean, this is the stuff that will not bend. You know, it's, it's good and solid and thick. And the Schombach fits perfectly in it, then I drilled a little hole through both of them, forgot my pen, and I bought this little uh, wire retention pin at the hardware store, slides perfectly through that hole, locks on, I put some reflective tape on the walking stick to just play up the whole, you know, nighttime walking stick aspect, and obviously put a big fat rubber cane tip on the end. So now with the pin in, this thing is solid. It barely rattles. Actually, the tip rattled around inside the PVC, so I stuffed about eight inches of cotton balls in the bottom of the PVC and then packed them down with the Schombach, so now the tip kind of rests in its own little cotton ball nest and it doesn't rattle anymore. And then I made a, a lanyard, a really tightly braided lanyard, out of some old leftover shoestrings so that when I'm walking with my new cold steel uh, Schombach walking stick scabbard, I can just grab a hold of that lanyard pop the wire, pop the retention pin, and I have a Schombach. So there you go. I really don't know why Cold Steel doesn't just package these brand new from the factory because the market for a Schombach is fairly small, but the market for a cool PVC walking stick that conceals a Schombach, probably much larger.